service restaurant cafe chains and delivery options its simple approach ease of use and rock solid reliability makes easy bob a great system for your peers needs whether your outlet is single store or a part of nationwide chain easy bob will help user to simply city in management <coughs> okay so uh, i have installed easy bob in your system and i have shared videos as well with you right yes yeah uh, okay. have you gone through that videos i have yes <clears throat> okay no i have not okay so let's start easy bob Uh, are you able to see my screen now? Yes, thank you. Yeah. <coughs> so when I start a easy burp, it asks me to uh, select the environment, real system environment, and the sample practice data environment. Environment. Uh, <laughs> real system. You need to select the real system environment for the live post of bills and everything. And I'll select the sample database as a training. for the test purpose and for testing you can use the sample database environment okay so when you click on that you will be able to see the login screen with the username and password there is an option with the user code swipe card and the fingerprint four options we have swipe card and the fingerprint reader can be integrated with easy burp so i log in with the username and password and when i click on login it shows my shift information start date time and current date time how from how many days my shift is open i have to close my shift on my shift period is over okay then it will ask me to select the outlet Are you able to see my screen or make it little larger? Yeah, can you make it larger, please? Yeah. So when I'm logged in with the outlet, it shows my the screen, and there is an order type: dine in, take away, room service, no charges, and advance order. Then there is a transaction: KOT, receipt, hold item, hold receipt, call center, advance list, and driving driver route. New trip, check in, status report, day close, messages. I'll start with the dine in. Okay. So when I click on the dine in, my Is that a dining room app? Yes. Yes. I can configure it in Easy Pub back office. Is Easy Pub's back office. Like uh, I have a rooms like main bar, pool bar, veranda. Three rooms I have created, and as per that the restaurant <coughs> design, I have designed my software as well that where my table is actually situated. Can it be moved? Is it inputted once, or can we move things around ourselves? You can move around yourself in Easy Bob back office. Okay, so all my tables are here. So when I click on a table, it asks me for the order information, table number. I need to select the waiter, and if you want to have the guest detail in your database, you need to. Mention the guest database here. Guest information. And if it's uh, not a guest, can we put the room number? Uh, that is a room posting, right? 
That will be a room posting. Okay. I'll go right. on that order information later on. Uh, I'm starting okay. with the dine-in. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Byron. Okay. So I have insert the guest information. How many adults are sitting on the table? That you can mention here and child as well. And the date will be the current date. Okay. Remark if you want to update any remark. And any citizen ID you want to update, you can update that. And I click on finish. So now my or KOT information is there. Now I need to function order. So there is a different type of views on the page. When I can you see this I icon here? I icon. So I click on that, and there is a main view, retail view. You can see the view is getting changed, right? So I can yep. search here by the name. That's cool. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Some people are visual. Some people like no, like want the picture. Some people don't. Okay. So this way I can change my view so, from this eye icon. We can have a barcode view uh, than the item search code. Then when I click on the uh, item, it will be get punch in the KOT. Okay, and when I click on finish, then that, that KOT goes, the printout goes to the kitchen, and the chef is will start the so cooking. So will it go to wherever we want it to send it? To? Yes, like the, the bar, KOT. Right? Yes, the KOT. Wherever you, you set the printer, it will go there. If you want to print out on your desk, it will. You need to set that printer. But we have multiple printers. So you so, can. Yes. Yeah, so if I, so if we have multiple printers. Uh, yes, so I understand. Just... Suppose you have a bar, right? And you have a restaurant. So you, uh, when the order comes for the bar, and that KOT should go to the bar printer. That you can configure in Easy Bob Back Office separate KOTs. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, how many printers you have, you can select that multiples. Okay. Okay. It depends on the category of the item. Understood. Okay. So, when I click on the table again, it asks me to make a receipt, settle a receipt, reprint all, fire item, new KOT if What's I want. What's fire item? Like when I hold, uh, suppose I have ordered something. Uh, Desert I have ordered and I have asked the waiter to send that order after 15 minutes. So you can hold that item. I'll show you that. I'll edit the KOT and there is an hold item here. Can you see this bullet icons here near the eye icon? Yes. I click on that yes. and there is an hold item option here. So when I click yeah. on that, so I'll punch this. Okay, and I'll click on this. So now there is an hold item option. So for how many minutes the item should be hold? 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, I can select that. So for that item yeah. will be hold. And again, if I want to fire that item, so I click on that and fire the item. So I'll go go to the table again add it kot the item will be fired to the kitchen printer again so this can you app, repeat that can you repeat that sorry yes i'll edit the kot i'll punch a new order right. take a new item i'll go to this icon and there is an hold item i need to select that item which item needs to be hold okay right so i'll hold that item for five minutes and if I want to fire it so I'll click on again that icon and fire the item so the print and when I click on finish so it goes to the printer okay. so chefs start preparing the order okay okay and you can do that with uh, bar items as well yes for any item you can do that as as a waiter, I I don't I never prefer that. I just 
stick later, you should just know when to punch it. So, <clears throat> when I click on this uh, bullet icon, there is a s item search, course, seat number, complement. If you want to give this item on a complement, I'll select that so that you can see the price has been 1 to 0. Okay. okay, but can you still, um, if... Who does that? That's not waiter access or server access, right? That's... That's that, a manage, we, that the manager or the to, or the receptionist yeah. can be able to do that, and the bill cashier. So we can assign somebody to do that, yes, right? Yes, you can. You can give that access to any like what what user need to have access. You can give that access from EasyBob back office. Okay. Complimentary item. Oh, yeah, nice. because we only want managers to do that. They'll have to go into the bill and do that complimentary. Yes, exactly. But we also want to make sure, okay, sorry. One more thing. We also want to make sure that it's still going to be caught on the reports because I want to see what's gone complimentary. What's yes, we have a complimentary out. report as well. Okay, great. We so have a lot of just, reports. Give me one moment here. Sure. Please. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so if I, if guest has uh, ordered something and then guest is saying that I don't want this order, suppose they has ordered Tusker cans, okay, large. Okay, and he's saying that I don't want this genius 300 ml. So you can just click on this cross item and you can cancel it. How about after it's been sent? No, for uh, once the item is punched and the KOT is printed, you cannot cancel it. You need to okay. give that void if, if see, you, you can see this, this four item was already punched in and that KOT has been printed to the kitchen or the bar and if I go to cancel that order so it asks me like reason why I want to void wastage or what so I need to type the reason here so who again is that something that access will be by manager or do we set you can set you can something? you can set to any user we have a lot of privileges okay. yeah okay okay so you need to give that reason <clears throat> and if you don't want to go to the tape dining again and if you want to edit the KOT then there is an KOT option here okay so you'll be able to see that KOT number and the table number you can recall it you can void it you can make receipt you can make that uh, KOT to the no charge you can reprint that if I'll recall it the same information will be showing me on the page Okay, can I ask you a question? When you're making an order, okay, can you assign it to the seat number? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. There's seat number, seat okay. Forget it. So, when you go to dine in, then you need to select a table first. When you punch an order, before punching the order, you need to select the table. Okay. And you have a seat number here. You can select four, three. Okay. Yeah. Then when I click again on the table, I'll make a receipt of it. Okay. So that can be sent to the guest for the billing. So when I click on the receipt, it shows me this page, the order information, the amount it will be showing. 
right and if i click on this there is an option of discount here if i want to give on discount okay so this can be given to the particular user privilege that who can give the discount and how much discount that user can give any of these discounts or any of these uh, voids or anything like that, we're not going to give that access to the staff. It's only going to be manager or supervisor. So that that privilege can be set any of time. Perfect. Perfect. When you the choose discount field or any field, can it be? Is it um, is it default or can we change the the names on it? Instead of a bottle discount ten percent, can we change it to an app? Uh, yes, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can okay. manage how much discount you want to give to the guest. Okay, okay. and uh, you can give discount on the receipt, cash discount or discount on a receipt. Then you can give discount on the item. Okay. But in the back office, can we change? Can yes, we you can. You will be able to change. And suppose somebody has applied that discount, you can remove that as well. Okay. Uh, what about so suppose I had given cash discount on the receipt ten percent and I have applied it. Okay. So my amount got changed to six thirty one. And if I want to remove now, so I can click on remove. So my amount will be again seven zero one. Now, if we wanted to add a, a gratuity, a tip. Can we do that automatically on um, tip to the waiter, well? right? Tip to the waiter, yeah. right? So I'll I'll be coming on that point. So when I click okay. on settlement, when the guest is mm -hmm. uh, paying the amount, I need to click on settlement. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the guest has guest bill is seven seven hundred and one, and guest has paid seven hundred and ten, and this is gratitude. So we can click on no. this. So automatically, eight point five dollar will be my tip to the guest. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, Byron. What what we mean is in Canada, what we do here is um, so what you just showed us is really good for regular transactions. But when we have tables of eight or more in Canada, what we do is we add fifteen percent as a gratuity. Automatically. Automatically. So that can so be added. Uh, yes. Office. Yes, that can be added in the back office. You can add, uh, configure that. On an order, you can add that. Uh, can you show me how to do that? So that will be the back office configuration uh, training. That will be given later on. So let me finish this because after this, I have another training as well. Okay. okay no problem. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, fine. Okay, so you can settle that receipt. As I showed you, guest has paid seven hundred and ten dollar. I can eight point five okay, will be my tip, and then there is an option payment type cash city ledger room posting. If I want to post the bill to the room, so I need to select the room posting and click on this icon. So. Only in-house guest will be showing me here. Perfect. Okay, so I can select that guest and finish. So that bill will be posted to the room. Okay. What's a city ledger? City ledger account is like suppose some company's guests are coming to your restaurant and the amount is paid by the company. Okay, so you need to post that bill to the city ledger account and then that invoice will be going to the company and that the company will pay you by check or bank transfer or anyways. Mm -hmm. okay. Sorry, can we go back to the gratuity again? <coughs> um, what if we wanted to omit that from there? So the server is not going to be able to add their own gratuity. Suppose, suppose. Yeah. No, no, no. What he's saying is if the bill is 710 and the, wait and the server gives you 710 is the bill right and you don't want to gratitude this 8.5 you when you click on add it shows that you need to give due amount to the guest yeah so it's not gratuity it's the that's what has to be given see, back to you the can guest. see yeah. here change due is 8.5 yeah. 
So it's not gratuity. Because we don't want it to say gratuity. It'll be changed to. Yes. Okay. Does that make sense? So, uh, and... How come it doesn't say um, credit card or debit card? It's under cash. We have, we have a credit card payment as well. So when you click on cash, you need to click on this icon. Then there is a cash, uh, okay, okay, check, okay, 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 Visa, okay. MasterCard, Discovery, American Express. We have different type of payment types you can create later on as well. If you have some local okay, partner okay. who is like Paytm or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can create Perfect. that. Okay, in that this icon you can you need to create it yeah. okay. Perfect. and if i want to split the receipt i can split that as well if you want to split it per guest say guest number one and guest yes, number yes, four yes, want yes, to you can you can do that you can do that split it by seat yes it can be split by seat as well perfect Okay, let me show you. <coughs> I'll go to the receipt. I'll click on the receipt. And can you see the split option here? Yeah. Yes. Uh, let oh. me make a new one so that will be better. Oh, there was the yeah, address. Yeah. No. Yeah, can you go back in there to show them where the split yeah, was? Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So when I click, okay. <coughs> when so, I click on the split icon. Hold on, hold on. Before, yes. Before you split. Go back one screen, please. Yes. Go to go to add gratuity for me, please. Right beside split. It is unsettled, so it won't ask me to uh, set uh, gratuity on unsettled receipt. I need to settle okay, it first. So when I click on settle, it asks. It shows me here. You can add manually as well. Okay. Cool. okay. That's not what we want exactly. No, no. <clears throat> okay. okay. So, <clears throat> when I click on split, see you can split by amount, quantity, equally category and seat numbers. Perfect. Nice. I like that. Perfect. Okay. okay. And you can select the split, uh, slip numbers, like suppose four guests are sitting, so you need to select four plus icon. So, it will be split to the four when numbers. You say do you mean like if somebody wants to pay for the drinks and somebody wants to pay for the food, that kind of idea? Yes. Thank you. What's the difference between quantity and... Quantity means suppose uh, they have ordered four yes, beer, four beer cans and one uh, one guest is paying for two and another is paying for two. So, the quantity will be like that, two, two. You can see. See, I'll select this one bottle. It is... One, right? This is one bottle, one yeah. bottle, one bottle, one can. And <clears throat> I'll select finish and split receipt. I'll select both the receipts. Okay, so you can see 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and here also two receipts. So the amount will be divided. Which is in two. Into yes, into receipt. Okay, as I have selected number of slips here, two. If I select three, then it will be divided by three. Are you in quantity or are you in, in quantity? In see, you can see the three now. One, two, two is added now. Okay, main receipt, receipt number one, receipt number two. 
See now point thirty-three. As I said, the one thousand uh, mL divided by three is three hundred and thirty-three mL. Okay. So, what what's the difference between equal and quantity? Equal means quantity. Quantity, as I said, like you can uh, split to the quantity. Equal means it will be equals. Yeah, let's not forget about that. Because if you have two people splitting equally and two people splitting in quantity, yeah, it's the same shit. No, it's not. Explain why. It, it, okay, let, I'll I'll take over on this one here, Byron. So basically, if there's five items, okay, so there's five. So let's say there's five beers on the menu. Okay, if I want to split it equally, they're gonna just cut the bill in half. If I want to split it by quantity, it's okay, three you say, for one guy, I'll pay, three for one guy. I want to okay, pay so that beers. example of two and two, like split into yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's probably just a bad example, but yeah, yeah, right on you, bro. Okay, <laughs> all right, you owe me some money, Byron. <laughs> sure, <laughs> but the training is free. <laughs> Oh, my training is free. Nothing's free, <laughs> darling. Nothing's free in this world. You know what? what are you, you can you can a, take training a, any time, any time of your tenure, and it is totally <laughs> free to for any no, user. Have you been to Have you been to Canada? No, I have not been to Canada, but my brother is trying to be there in Canada. Where? I he he'll be as a student. In Toronto. Or Vancouver. I don't know exactly. Okay, you come and visit. Sure, sure. I'll do whenever I'm coming. I'll do visit. Okay. Well, okay. we'll show you. We'll uh, give you a complimentary something. Sure, sure, sure. Anytime. Oh, oh, I'll make you split your bill. <laughs> <laughs> you can do oh, my, my quantity. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll okay, be helping you for that. <laughs> okay, so this way you can order in the dining on the table. Okay, then comes the takeaway. Like you have a takeaway option in your property, so I'll go through mm -hmm. that or I'll skip that. Skip it for now. Skip it for now. Yeah. Okay. So then we have a room service option. As I said, uh, this room service is only for available only for the in-house guest. So when I click on the room service and I'll click on the new, so it asks me to punch in orders. Okay. Then I'll click on settlement. Then I'll go to room posting. And I need to select the room which are there in can house. I, can I ask you something, Ben? Yes. City ledger. City ledger. Is it possible to change, City ledger. Is it possible to change the name? So that it's not city ledger, we change it to something called master account. Is that possible? No, no, it will be city ledger oh, only. Okay. It it can change. I need to check that. Uh, it can change. I exactly don't know, but I will check and I'll update you on email that it can be changed or not and where it can be changed. Okay. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So you can post that room post the bill to the room by yeah. clicking on room posting and just click on the room okay and it will automatically pull all in-house guests yes it uh, when you have integrated with easy absolute when you will be uh, yeah. when your absolute is live we'll do the integration with pos so it will show you the in-house guest or you can search by the name as well so, okay, can I, okay. what about if it's, sorry, what about if um, I want to charge it to a room, but the get, but the room isn't ready yet, so a guest is checking in to room 112, okay? So, as I said, uh, yes, Chaz, but as I said, it will show only in-house guests, not for the, I, not I, supposed I, to no, check I in. I understand, Byron, but what if, what if uh, I want to post it to a room that's not ready yet? No, oh, it uh, the system will not show you uh, the room which is not ready yet. The system it will okay. itself will not show you because the guest is not in house. Okay, 
Okay. So can we all can we have I I you I plan? I think you mean to say the meal plan? No. What I mean is Byron you come into the hotel to check in. Okay. okay? Okay, before check in, I visit to restaurant or the bar. Before, yeah, before you check in, you visit, okay, the restaurant, and you say that you want to charge it to the room, okay? But you haven't checked in yet because your room isn't ready yet. Do you have a hold room that I can put it to, you know? And then after, when the room is ready and in house, then I transfer it. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I understand that. I just, I'll just check that, but I think it will not show. It shows only in-house guest only. As as in my front desk. Mm -hmm. well, I guess we just wouldn't settle it. That's what I was just going to say. Just keep it open. But then what if we're flipping a table? If you're flipping it, then that person should be checking into the room already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you know what we do? So oh, you can do one thing that you can take an order and dine in right suppose the guest is going to be check in in the restaurant uh, hotel so you take a order in a dine in okay and then guest is yeah. checking out from the restaurant okay you make a receipt just make a receipt that's it okay when the guest is checked in and you, you click on that table and click on settlement then guest has checked in in the route and then you can post to the room got it, got it. So we because after uh, checking out from the restaurant yeah. the guest is going to go to the his room right yeah and he is going to check in okay, no, so you can that. post that later yeah, on yeah okay. that's fine yeah we understand it buddy thank you in the rooms, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. No, no, it's in the app. It's a separate 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 app. It's Okay, whenever you're ready, buddy. For the next. I'm ready. When your conversation okay. is finished. Okay. So okay. Uh, you can we're post. For you to Pardon? I said we were waiting for you to interrupt. Okay, no okay. So this is the room service for the in-house guest, and there is a no charge account. No charge account will you need to create the account for the VIP guest or somebody uh, to whom you don't want to charge the bill. So you can create that account, okay. and for the staff also, I think uh, that is up to you. If the staff is going to have their meal or something, anything from the restaurant, so you can create the staff account and click on OK. So you can punch. finish so in no charge there will be no kot in room service there will be no kot only in dining we have a kot option that goes to the kitchen okay but wait a second why doesn't room service have a kot because our staff are going to be punching in for that client and then we need to send it to the uh restaurant so when you punch uh, when you punch to the room service option that kot goes let me show you okay thank you because i'll tell you why um Varen. most likely the servers that are working in the dining room are going to be punching or front desk we, we decided front desk didn't we what punching room uh order yeah, the dining service because they're going to be calling. No, we decided that. Right. Yeah, so the bartender or server is going to be punching in the in room dining service. See, when the guest is ordering from the room for that room service, right? So that 
automatically comes to the reception only it does, doesn't go to the kitchen the dining order only goes to the kitchen because it needs to be ready on the time you understand my point no i don't understand brother see if suppose i am your guest in your hotel and staying in 101 yes. and i call to the reception and say that uh, please punch this order uh, please place this order in my room so your yes. res, uh, your front desk receptionist will call to the bar or restaurant for the order yeah okay and they'll okay. go to the room service okay they'll not go to the dine in okay so that receipt will okay. come receipt receipt will get print on the machine where the pos has installed receipt printer okay and that then he will inform he or she will inform to the kitchen that you need to prepare this and send it to the room so for room service no kot no there is Q, the kot option is available only for dining dining yes see okay. i'll see in the order so, type you can see here hold on one second we're just talking this out okay virus yeah oh, it's a dining okay like um then it doesn't do it doesn't print out to the kitchen so you can manual it'll print out the receipt wherever that POS yes. station is and then it'll go then then it'll have to go and give it to yes. the kitchen which is actually I'll tell you to what to differentiate it yeah, yeah to differentiate it and so that way nobody uh, is mixing up with uh if it's uh room service or the, uh lounge patio dining room whatever yeah. so it's actually good okay so front desk takes the order brings uh, punches it in with the bartender or the bartender will write ird on the top yeah the room service yeah. ma to kot ni bane ne yeah okay. room okay. service ma kot ni bane thank you next kot no option hai nahi room service ma to receipt hai nikle ne ha dining Byron, go ahead yeah sure सर्विस so then we have a no charge account as i said for your staff for the from so for some the government officer or the vip guest you can have a no charge bill right. so when i punch the order can we change that also to maybe 50% charge or a discount instead of a no charge so that you can do it in a dine in okay perfect that's good that's good right when i said when you yeah. when you take the order there there is an option here remark you can update that right okay perfect thank you okay so no charge account same as in dine in or something okay so do you have way. to punch in no charge right away or can you do it afterwards if you decide say i go into the dining room and i i see a client that we really really want to impress or what do whatever and decide after the fact that we want to do a no charge bill or does it have to be done right at the beginning no charge has to be done with the beginning or else you can what you do you can settle the receipt as an discount you can give 100% discount if you want to give okay okay that's okay. fine so and there is a, there is a others options when i click on this bullet icon there is a reservation if somebody calls to your restaurant or or a bar and saying that i want to reserve a table for four person so there is a reservation option here you can click on new select the time okay select the table where um is okay so that would be um for the reservation list yes for the bar restaurant okay we got to figure out who's going to be okay or suppose you have okay, some good. birthday celebration in your uh, bar uh, restaurant 
so you can reserve that tables okay by clicking on the reservation then we have a waiting list you can create a waiting list here you can add the name first name how many adults how many childs you can take the order in advance as well for that particular person or the guest and the contact information contact person name or if the person has come through some agent you can type the agent name okay in the on reservation the west, on the west can you text the person when the when the table is ready you mean to say you want to send a notification right yeah via text message me check hardik bhai evo option nahi na apad bhai reservation ma ke waiting list ma order ready thai gyo to guest ne message jato re nahi na ha i don't think so there is that that option is available in easy bob Hello. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this uh, reservation and uh, waiting list. Then you have a payouts, right? Suppose you have some uh, party or some gathering at your restaurant, and you need to add uh, order something flowers. So when you receive the flowers, you will be receiving the voucher from the. vendor so you need to add the voucher number paid to the vendor name you need to select the outlet amount need to be paid okay tax you can add and finish so now how we are going to do the payment in cash so you can add or you can add to the city ledger account as well this payment okay you can create the vendor in city ledger account and do that okay you can void that you can recall that okay then we have a miscellaneous sales Okay, you can add the miscellaneous sales. Suppose uh, there is some meeting and some company wants to do that meeting at your restaurant or something like that. You can add in the extra charge. Okay, miscellaneous sales will be a newspaper scrap of newspaper, right? swimming that can be a miscellaneous sales uh, there is an transfer table option also that that will be in the dine in as well if i want to transfer a table to order to the another table i can do that i can select the table then order transfer item transfer or quantity transfer so i need to select the table first from which table i need to transfer the order and to which table i want to transfer okay i can switch the room as well so you can see that uh, that order has been transferred to my veranda room on table v2 Okay, then you have a uh, table option. All table open, close. Only open table will be showing here. Close tables will be showing here. And if you click on all, the and all tables will be. Then show receipt, hide receipt. Okay, all orders and my orders. Like suppose some user has only privilege to their orders, so they can see only their orders. then sometimes what happens when you click on the table it gives an error that table is already open on another system okay so there is a net lock option table lock option 
so that log table will be showing here you need to select that and click on finish so you'll be able to access that table after that what what is that high order time what does that mean you can see the time here the, okay, the time it. i punch the order okay and how much time yeah. it took for that order time yeah okay then the table notification suppose you have reserved a table for a birthday or a vip guest you can have that notification no image suppose i select this so there is a birthday on this table so the birthday icons you can select from the back office okay then item on hold when whatever item you have hold that will be showing on this icon item on hold so you need to select that and fire that or a manually you can do that okay this is the refresh option then i showed you the transaction the all the open kots will be showing here normally when you click on the kot and if you want to see all the kots you need to select all the kots here so you'll be able to see all the kots okay you can select the date search so on for for that particular date the kot will be showing so you can recall that void that kot make a receipt make How a long you, keep it there for? you can make a no charge as well from here you can reprint the kot hello how long does the system hold the uh, the uh, old receipts it's it is uh, it holds for all the times unless you don't split the data okay okay thank you what time is training until bud i'm just going to finish this training it's about to finish it will take 10 15 okay. minutes more not more than that okay so kot transaction has been finished then the receipt whatever receipts are there on the table which are unsettled will be showing here and when i click on all receipts so all the receipt will be showing me which is settled as well unsettled okay so you can click on settle which is unsettled recall void you can split that add <coughs> gratuity reprint receipt again reprint kot again and reprint label okay and the hold items will be showing here hold receipt Aaron, yeah. why would we reprint the kot again sometimes what happen uh, that uh, print printer get some malfunctions and the kot okay. did, did okay. not got print okay thank you okay so you can you can reprint again sometimes if That's it is a thing. network printer and then the network has lost and the printer not received the kot and uh, chef is saying that i have not received the kot so you can reprint that okay 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 or the guest is saying that i need to see what was my order so you can send that receipt that order will be there on the receipt as well with the quantity okay So okay. Then this is the driving route, like a new trip for the delivery option. I think you are not going to use that, so I should no, skip no, that. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Then we have reports option here. Hmm. We have different type of reports: sales report, cashier sales report, serving period summary report, menu item sales report, void transaction listing. You can preview it. Do we, have a dash, do we have a management dashboard? Ma, management dashboard means I'm not getting you. Management dashboard is just where I can see live, up to date the sales, uh, sales. Um, see when you open the back office. Yeah. so you can see this summary view how many receipts are there on on the restaurant this is live 
This would be live? Yes, this would this would be live. Okay. Can I get that on my for that particularly date? You can see the system software date for that particular date. This is the summary. Can I get that on my tablet or my phone? Uh, no. But we have the night audit report when the uh, day is closed. When the date is getting changed of the system, you need to change the date of the software as well. So you need to perform the day close. So when you perform the day close, you can send the emails that reports on your email account. So you'll be able to see no, that no. report on on that uh, night audit report. You get all the reports of that. So we have that option. You can send a day close report to the management. So the management can be uh, will be able to see what was the sale today, what uh, what receipt was voided, and what reason you can see that. Okay. So as I said, you have, we have lots of reports here. You can see that even we have all the reports in the back office as well, and this icon. When you click on this icon, all the reports are there: inventory reports, transactions report, like sales, sales registers, receipt versus KOT, monthly sales report, yearly sales report, tax reports you have, then the sales report. Menu item receipt consumption report. Okay, KOT registered no charge report. Uh, you ask about the no charge report, right? Yes. Yeah. So we have a no charge report. Uh, then we have a discount report as well. Receipt dis discount yeah. report. Can I ask you about the menu item receipt uh, receipt consumption recipe consumption report? What is that? Can you tell me that? So menu item recipe consumption report means suppose you have a one menu item. I don't know what kind of. I'm sorry, but I don't know the food That's which okay. is used in. Uh, suppose you have a uh, bread, right? And a bread yes. is, will consume a dough, a wheat, right? A water, an oil, a salt. So that will be the consumption. Okay. Okay. So. I just sent you an email. Okay. If you want to look at it, just one. I want to see if it's part of the inventory. Are you that person? Are you that person? Are you happy I did? Are you not happy I did? You wouldn't have made it. Do it. I'm breathing fast. Yes, yeah, that happened to us long. I'm just breathing. I'm just breathing. I'm just breathing. Okay, this will be your items, right? Menu items. So no, no. So this is basically what I'm looking for in terms of um, on the inventory portion. This is basically the ingredients. Okay. Right. Okay, the consumption. And I see the consumption. I'm, I'm. You mean to say? Yeah. So okay. basically, in terms of if I want to make a specific dish, these are all the the ingredients and the cost for it. Okay, so this is the item name is traditional cheese pizza, right? And this yeah. all item will be used in that particularly menu right. item. Yes. Okay, so yeah. it can be configured here. When I go to the menu item, we have a BOM, bill of material. Okay. 
So I need to select okay. that store. Okay. Suppose kitchen store. And I'll make a sandwich. I need to add the unit. Okay, so you can add that particularly items here. Then again, I need to select another item. So you can see the estimated uh, cost. Okay. Okay. So for, for particularly this Del Monte orange juice, what will be requirement of that? So I need to add in the bill of material. Like oranges, grams, I'll select 250 grams. Then sweet melon. So where would I, so, so where would I put pizza, for example? Under yeah. what? The store item? Or no, pizza will be your menu item, right? And the other items yeah, so... the other items suppose yeah. all purpose flour will be a store item. Vegetable oil will be a store That's... item. Sugar will be a store item. Like in a kitchen store or a central store. Okay, so pizza. So pizza is my menu item. Yes, pizza is your menu item and this will be a store item. So which will be added okay. here in the bill of material from the store. Okay. So to make that pizza, I will require this menu, uh, this uh, items from the store. So I yeah, need to perfect. add that. Yeah, so works. when I add this BOM and update it, so whenever I'll see my inventory consumption, we have an inventory consumption report as well okay yeah you need to select the store so uh, item name item code unit quantity cost per unit cost remark user and all the detail then we have this you said menu item this uh, recipe consumption report we have so i can select that menu item and it will be showing me this okay then raw material consumption by menu item this will be the report that pizza is required this raw material okay yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you have that menu item, that inventory, I you have purchased it, so that training will be given to you, don't worry about it. So, you will be getting okay. all the ideas regarding the inventory, how you are going to consume the store item to the menu item. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, whenever uh, uh, the date is getting change of the system, you need to change the software date as well. So, so at, the end, to, at the end of every night? Yes, at course. the end of every night or you can perform it at in the early in the morning, whatever time you select. Yeah. See, I will show you that also. I will go to configuration, yeah. cost center, outlet. I will select the outlet and there is an option here, day close time. I need to select that day close time. So, before that, I won't be able to close my day. Okay. Okay, so I need to select this close time. So when I click on day close, yeah, good. it gives me errors. You cannot continue with the open KOT. So I need to check what I have open KOTs or not. So if I have, so I need to void it or I need to settle it. Right? So I'll settle it.
there should be no open orders to perform the day close if there is an one single op open order then you will be not able to perform the day close okay it gives you a message are you sure you want to perform a day close upon successful day close the data of the day close day will be freeze you will not able to enter more transaction for the day and it will open a new business day for a further operation so we can put whatever time we want right yes if we put at three o'clock in the morning as a cl uh, closing of the day of the b day before that's okay yeah that will be okay, okay. but we suggest that it should be like at midnight 12 or 23 59.59 seconds so by that time only the date is getting changed after that time only as it's a midnight 12 o'clock the date will be get changed automatically so i need to select the day it is opening my new day so when I click on OK, you can see the date has been changed here. Now it's 13. It was 12 earlier. Now it has become 13. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you close the day of an outlet as opposed to the day of the system? I'm not getting your voice clearly. Sorry. You won't get his question either. Can you close the date, like for example, the outlet, the main restaurant? Can we close the day for the main restaurant? You can, you can day, uh, you can close the day from any system, but you that user needs to have the privilege of day close. Okay, but that's um, just for let's just say it's just for dine in only. No, the day close will be for the software for all dine in, take away, room service, no charges, take advance order. The day close will be for all the order type. It is. It will be for the okay, software. But, but if I wanted to uh, do my system report for the restaurant, it closes at eleven o'clock, and at eleven thirty, I'm doing my whole report. So this this I day. See, I, I, the day close which I have performed that is only for particular this outlet. Okay, this is thirteen ten. If I'll select another outlet, you can see my date has been changed. So you need to perform day close for particular all the outlets. So you can do that from back office. If I want to day close for multiple outlets, I can do that here. Yeah. There is a three button icon. So multiple outlets. So all the outlet day close will be performed at a moment. You don't have to do day close for individual outlets. Okay. Okay. I hope I have cleared your question. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Perfect. So, how was the training, guys? I hope I have good, delivered. I, good. I have delivered all your questions. Okay. Yep. Good job. Good job. So we'll we'll touch base with you next week because we're off. Um. Uh, um. We have a long weekend. We're off on Monday. Uh, from so Monday, uh, from yes. Monday, my shift is getting changed. So I'm handing over your property to my colleague, Mr. Hardik. So he'll be taken taking oh. care of your trainings and all the things. Okay. Does he speak as good English as you? Pardon? Does he speak as good English as you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. for sure. I'm damn for sure. sure. I'm damn sure. Okay. 